Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com 10-part tutorial series on the Nexus One, also known as the Google Phone. Now today we're going to take a look at privacy and security settings on the Nexus One. So first things first, we want to get into the settings options. So we can do that one of a couple ways. We can tap on the grid icon here, which will bring up a list of all of our applications, and we'll find settings in here. It's always there. Or we can tap on the menu key here and bring up context-sensitive menu. And in this case, we want to go into settings. So what we want to do is we want to go into location and security. The first thing we're going to do is uh, change our unlock pattern. Now, Android phones lock a little differently than uh, other phones. Most phones will require you to enter a string of characters, uh, digits usually. Um, in the Android's case, what we see here, this is uh, our current save pattern. So currently, we have a, a kind of a seven configuration like this. Now we're able to change our unlock pattern. So let's go a reverse seven like this. And we have to do it one more time to confirm. Now any time that we turn off the main screen here, any time we turn on the screen like this, we have to, put in, we have to put in our unlock pattern to get in. So we'll go back into location and security. So we could choose to require the pattern on unlock. We can also choose whether or not we want a visible pattern. This will mean if we uncheck this option, you, you won't be seeing the green lines when we, when we input our, our uh, pattern. Now we can set up SIM card lock, which allows us to apply a password, a, a numerical password to our SIM card, which means that if we ever lose our Android phone, uh, people can't just take the SIM card out and use it in another phone and rack up all kinds of long distance charges on us. Now, visible passwords, when you are inputting a password into, for example, um, to log into your Gmail or uh, into a web form, uh, visible passwords, if we leave this option checked, we will see each character as we input it. Um, then the rest will be turned into uh, dots so that they're obscured from, from outside eyes. Uh, if we turn visible passwords off, then you won't see the characters as they're being input. You'll just see the dots as they go up. Makes it a little bit more difficult to enter your passwords, but it does make it more secure. So we can also set a password for the phone. Um, this will allow us to keep all of our data safe on the phone. If someone wants to try and reset it or do anything like that, they'll be required to input the password, which if we lost our phone, they won't have. Now, a couple of, uh, couple of applications we want to tell you about that will help you to find your phone if you ever lose it. One is called Anti-Droid Theft. One's called Where's My Droid, and one's called Phone Finder. We'll put links to those in the show notes on butterscotch.com so that you can download them yourself. These will all allow you to find your Android phone if you ever lose it in a variety of different ways. And that concludes this installment of our Nexus One tutorial series. Be sure to check out the show notes on butterscotch.com. For butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin.